I would like to make my own energy. I'd like to just do it because it'd be fun. Try to figure out something that was kind of do it yourself. So you don't have to go to Canadian Tire or order online and spend $500 for one little panel. Uh, so I've got myself some stuff from eBay. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my roof over there. That's going to be my shed roof. It's going to be where it's going to go. But that's about it. We'll see how it works out. Now let's go check out what I have downstairs. Check out my office. I did manage to clean my office enough to actually do something in it. And there's the first line of solar cells that I've made. Um, so there you go. That's uh, that's the size of the panel. It's about four foot by four foot. And these are rated at half a volt each. So that's what they'll that's what they'll produce in um, in full sunlight. Um, they should produce a little more than that. Um, but that's that, I found that that's pretty consistent. Comes in a big pack, just off eBay, everbright.com. I bought 130 of them. Um, so at half a volt each, that's you know about uh, that's about 70 volts. So there you go. That's what I have so far. There's my soldering iron. Um, it's a hacko. A lot. These are diodes. See those? Those are diodes. Those uh, those are used so that the power can't bleed back to your battery, or or sorry, the the power the power from your battery can't bleed back into the solar panel uh, when it's in the shade. Other things I got: um, digital multimeter. There you go. Make sure it can do amps. Buy it off eBay. Hardware stores are a ripoff. There's the boards that I've made so far. Um, so this is pretty easy. Like I said, I've never done a whole lot of do-it-yourself building stuff, so this is all pretty new to me. So all I've done is made what will be a frame out of this is just cedar. Okay. And then uh, I cut some grooves in it, just with my table saw. What I'm going to show you right now is how I measure out the tabs that will connect the two, that will connect solar cells. So how do we measure those out? Um, all I did was I took one here and all you need to do is to be able to connect the back those three dots those are the negative or sorry the positive side of the cell you need to connect those with the tabbing wire all I did was I tried to figure out how, because what you're going to want to do when you're connecting them is to go back to front. In the negative side, out the positive side, in the negative side, out the positive side. Okay? So that's how the electricity flows. So, so they need to go all the way, connect all three with a little bit of a tail at the end. The tail at the end will connect to the negative side or the top side of the panel. Okay, about 79 millimeters. So I just measured it out on my table here and I marked it right from there to there. Oink, oink. There, and all I did was take the roll here, like so. Oink, oink and started cutting. So as you do this, try to make sure that they don't get too bent, and that they're nice and straight. If 
there we go. That's 21 tabs, and that's going to be enough for one of my lines of solar cells. Ta-da! Easy. So I'm going to have seven across the panel. Give me 77 total, uh, about 45 watts or so. So I'm just going to take a stack. They're easier to handle in a stack because they're so fragile. Look at how thin they are. Solder. Iron. Cell. Cell dots. Flux. Tabbing, tabbing, nice and straight, lay it down, try to line it up in the center because it needs to line up to the other side of the next cell, so centering is important. Soldering iron turned up as high as it can go. Oops, much easier. 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Best one so far. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to connect them all together. So I'm just going to do two, three at a time here. Here's number two. Now this time, you want to put the flux on the white lines. Those are connections for the top side, which is the negative side. I'm going to put the flux just on the top where I'm going to make the connection. And that should be all we need. Ta-da! 11 cells.